Oh, yeah, there it goes. No, now it goes. Okay, so let me find the link for you guys. I do have to go to YouTube first, it looks like. Um, Discord will work. All right, I posted it in general. Let's see if that one works. If I click on your picture, it gets bigger. I don't see. It your... is live, for sure. You don't see a link? Oh, you have to go to videos. There it is. <laughs> I can hear you on. Uh, I'm going to mute it. Yeah, it. You me on YouTube. Go away. It's pretty funny. Click on it, I see uploads, videos. Oh, okay. Go to videos. I could live stream me getting to his live stream if you need <laughs> further help. So you can see my game? There's a way? Yep. Yeah, I'm, are I'm you in? Looking at it. Okay. Are you in inside? I, this is a ship that I made. So, like, um, these are, uh, let's see here, what to show you. Okay, so these are oxygen tanks, these are fuel tanks, and these are generators which take the fuel and produce electricity for your thrust. Um, inside my ship, you can control a whole bunch of things. So, um, it, at a very high level, these are the basic ones you want, like to turn on and off weapons and turrets, uh, your thrusters and stuff like this, but it can get pretty deep. Um, so I'm set, I'm messing around with these signals. You can build your own circuits here. Uh -huh. Um, so I have, I'm, this, this circuit over here is for me to, when I, if I do this switch or I'm outside and there's a motion sensor. It will open the door and extend the ramp and turn on these lights. And then when I close it, so this is what I'm messing around with, just playing around circuits. It'll turn these on over there. Um, but this is one of my ships here. Um, so that ramp extends when the door is open. That was all the stuff I did. So this is a ship that I built today. Um, what's cool. What's pretty that is. Too. Yeah. What, it's a lot easier to build cool looking ships in this than in space features. So what's cool is uh, weapons are retracting. So if I go, if I go here, I and I go to turrets and weapons, and I turn them on, a whole bunch of weapons come out. So there's a lot more weapons in this game than there are in Space Engineers. Um, this big one off the front. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just playing around with a lot of stuff. So this is a rail gun. You can see it as it's highlighting. These are these four things over here are drills. So you can, uh, you can har this is can also harvest. Then I've got three Gatling guns. These four down here are plasma cannons. And then I've got uh, two regular rocket launchers and two homing rockets and then uh, oh lots of turrets. So did you just put this on like creative so you don't yeah. have to- Yeah, I'm just playing around so you're understanding the game. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so this is the kind of stuff you, so lift, there's basic concepts of lift. So if you project the ship down, that shape is how much lift you'll get. It doesn't matter what blocks you have. Um, I mean, it matters their mass will apply, right? But like the lift will be generated based on your surface area in this dimension. Mm. Your drag is only generated based on this direction, you know, as you go. So it's, it's general physics, but you don't have to worry about like shapes of wings or other things, right? Like you could build giant winged things out of just armor blocks, like light armor or carbon armor. Um, and then fly forever because like because they're so light um, and such a huge lift with just a little forward thrust. Yep. Justin, you're taking flying lessons, is that right? He's a, he's a licensed pilot. Oh, he already left. Oh, he's on mute. Okay, so the ship. So anyway, that's what I'm messing with is a bunch of things. Uh, Zwick, you'll appreciate. One of the things I was working on was turning. Oh, actually, Justin too. I'm working on my nav lights here. You got it rigged correctly. Trying, except for I can't put them right on the end, so this is as close as I can get. Um, but I've got my blinking one nice. up top, and Bet. and then the, the solid one on the back. <laughs> there. That's pretty good. Okay. Sorry, I was I you know, I was muted because I was trying to listen to the audio synced with the YouTube stream, so I was lagging. Oh yeah, gotcha. That's fine. Um, yeah, so that's the ship that I built. Here's one. You could build stations. You could build capital ships. That thing is a capital ship. Think of it like a, it's a... Which thing? 
Uh, you'll see it as I'm coming up. To MS Titan is a capital ship. Oh, I see it there. Oh, okay. Oh, and all this, you can visit all of this stuff, except for the stars. You can visit all of these. Um, you, can go to your, you can go to your map and go around the solar system. Whoa. Yeah, so you can you like, said you could go underwater and do like underwater bases yep. and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So, so can you make like, instead of spaceships, will they work as submarines? I don't know. I don't know about how buoyancy works in the game. I know you can go under there. Um, okay, so there's one, and for fans of the Expanse, someone built the Tachi. It looks, it's just awesome. So this is in creative mode, but like if you're playing actual survivals, how yeah. long, like how long would it take you to acquire the resources to build a ship like that one? Yeah, so people have, there's a, there's the most popular mod is called Eden, and it adds some realism, and it also, they intentionally slow down the XP so the game will last longer. Because I think you can get to these kind of quick, like the 20 levels. Um, but here are some other ships that people made. This one, it's kind of a modified TIE fighter. It's got those same miners, those four miners here, and a bunch of weapons. Um, there, there's my ship. There's a, a small Millennium Falcon. There's a whole bunch of Millennium Falcons on the store. Like, there's, it's like Space Engineers. There's thousands of ships up there. Um, there's a little airspeeder here, which is, I shot it. I was test, doing weapons tests, so it is, has seen some damage. Um, someone built a Razor Crest. Oh, nice. Here. Um, there's the Tachi again. Okay, so this is like a high level. I can go through and kind of show you some of the things. So like um, stuff that I learned. So thrust is way more powerful here than on um, on space engineers. Like oh, it's pretty, good. it's very, it's very friendly. Like I can fly on planets with like just those downward thrusters, those four. Can you get That's on? The, can you hop in the ship and just fly around? I'm curious to see what it looks like for yeah. space. And Sure. Uh, let me. Uh, so I'll fly this down to the surface and show you what that looks like. Yeah, yeah. good. I was always so annoyed with the thrust in. Yeah. Space well, it's an it's an en engineering game, right? Yeah, engineering is annoying. Okay. So you, this asteroid belt here, you can actually go and mine all of these. If I fly through them, I'd hit them. But the ships aren't made of glass like they're in Space Engineers. Like, you could bounce off this and take a little damage. If you wanted to. Oh, so that's only six kilometers away. Not yeah, like yes. 15 going this rate. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's much friendlier. And then there's warp drives, too. So you could do inter, inter, you go to different solar systems or different star systems. Um, if you're on a capital ship, you can, my ship's too small to have a warp drive, but you can do small ship warp drives. They can only go intra solar system. Are there any limits to the size of the ships you can build? I haven't found one. I, I haven't found one yet. Like, here, let me just stop right here for a second and show you something. Oh, so the other thing is you can't get out while it's moving. It's not like Space Engineers. So that is... That when is you hit a button and then you're just dead. You, your oh, ship is gone. That is your experience for sure, yes. But, like, <laughs> let me show you this, how fast... The, so I, this is what I was showing, Chester. So the Tachi is a very big ship. And look how fast it, it spawns here. Like... The engine's pretty fast. Oh man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, okay. So there's my, my sensors that I had set up. Okay. So I'll show you what it looks like down on the planet. And then I'll switch quickly to survival. Like there's a um there is a uh, a bunch of uh, details about your ship that you can control as well. Like you can look at the uh, torque and overall like thrust vectoring and everything if you really wanted to get into that. Um, so you can see I'm almost into the atmosphere here. Almost. It's, it's very shallow. It's like a thousand meters. But it, it'll switch over. This is a temperate planet. There's a whole, there's like a volcano planet. There's so many different planets in the system. I don't know how many. So here's, you can see it's switching over. There's like a little UI rendering thing. I don't know what that is. I think there are four different planets. You can spawn in additional ones, like modded planets. Yeah. But, so yeah, like Planet 26 in Space Engineers is like one of the most popular ones. So I'll just go down here and land and show you. But there's a whole bunch of 
animals and plants and you can harvest wood to build like your bases too. But see my show your forward speed. Um, on the right side there, see the, the speed? It's Oh I see. That's total speed that's uh total speed, I see. Yeah. So like I I will land down here and show you. <clears throat> so this is some desert biome or something. So yeah, my gear automatically comes down. Um, that's nice. I like all these things. Okay, so there's my, since I, oh, that's all I do. I'll do this one. Set my thing up here. All right, yeah, so there, there's a bunch of stuff down here. There's birds and stuff. You can, you'll see bees sometimes. Oh, I'm in. Yeah, the bees. Yeah, so there's some birds over there. I don't know what those are. Butterfly. Um, yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Okay, so then inside the ship, I'll show you some other things that you could do in the game. Is that an electric butterfly? Was it sparking? No, I was shooting it, but that was a block removal too. I don't know what it does on a butterfly. Oh, okay. um, so there's like containers. This is ammo, ammo container, but um, I won't... I can teach you how this stuff works, but there's basically a container controller, and then these extensions m expand what go in it. So like this volume says 500, um, but it's like 125 normally. Um, but these extensions that are adjacent to it expand that, that cargo container's capacity. Um, these are RCS, so kind of the gyroscopes in Space Engineers, helping you kind of aim your ship. Um, these are little uh, constructors, like you like to make things. Um, so this is a very basic because this is what is available in small ships. You need capital ships to build like a lot of stuff. What or, is a capital ship? Like the big ships, the big large block Just ships. Big. Yeah, that you would you dock your little ships in. Yeah. Um, so those ones can construct all kinds of things. Uh, they can build farm plots. Like you can go and like um, what was it called? Plot or something? Okay, growing plot. I don't. I've never done this before. It's, so we'll see. Build here. Oh, shit. Items. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I, wanted, I was going to show you this. So see every one of these that has a little arrow on it? Um, so if an item has an arrow in the bottom right, like, you can see I'm hovering like a, a building block. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So if you right click, these are all the ones that are available for that type of block. All the shapes. So there's a lot. Oh, I see. So there's a lot. And if you go to wing, which is number five there, and I right click, here are all the different types of wings you could build out of that one thing you have in your yeah. inventory. Yeah. And so it now. Like just takes me forever to, to get through it and build. Yeah. So now if you look at all the stuff here, all the foods and stuff, like there's a lot to the game. And the mods, the Eden mod adds a whole bunch more. So anyway. That's like the basis of the game. I mean, I could go into more detail about a bunch of different things, but like I said, it's, it's friendly or physics and uh, it's a survival game where you have to, I don't know how the faction stuff works because I haven't tried it yet. Um, but like, um, here are some faction things. You have to discover, I don't know anything about them. Can you just build like a, a platform with a, with a little, I don't know, hut or something? Like, can you just build? I just want to see what it looks like. Um, I have to do starter. So it's called base starter. So I'll take this is create. This is creative. So um, I don't know. It's block attribute. I cannot place it on the space. Can you do this one? Oh. Yeah, you have to do large ones. Okay. I don't know what I'm, I'm growing stuff here. And do a seed. Seeds? I don't know how to grow. Oh, these are far. Oh, yeah, it's full of dirt. So this is in creative. So like when you when you built that, if you built it in normal mode, would you have to like kind of like a space engineer is put the blueprint out there and then? I honestly don't know. Yeah. I th I think you craft them and then you just place them. I think, but I don't know. The welding up was always annoying. That's yeah, you good. You don't have to weld anything. There is um, a gun that you can get to. Great blocks and remove them and re like rotate them. So mm. there isn't a just pick up 
your blocks and then put them back down in a different way. Um, yeah, that change your rotate. Yeah. So yeah, and then this this gun that does these actions on blocks has ammo too. You have to craft. And there's mining in the game also. You get um, like a mining laser basically. You get a gun that does three things at the beginning, and you can mine uh, like rocks on the surface or if got a scanning gun you can scan and then you have to go like dig down in the dirt a little bit how do you mine which one is it uh it's the <coughs> survival tool no it's not that one it's not the one you're on it's a different one yeah maybe it's survival Multiple. tool yeah i think it's a survival tool um second from the right or, no, I think maybe multi-tool. Yeah, no, multi-tool. There you go. So defense mode is just like a little laser you can shoot. Bad guys. Resource. Re dig stuff out of the dirt. Nice. I appreciate, like, removing the, like, busyness. The, the, the only thing about space engineers is that you, like, welding everything up is just kind of like busy work that is not is anti-fun to me. Yeah, sure. you, you put down crafting devices in this game, and then you simply say, craft these things for me. And one of the really nice things is, um, <clears throat> some of the items take, like, you know, a bunch of basic resources, and then, like, a tier 2 resource, and then a tier 3 resource to make a tier 4 thing. Yeah. You don't you don't actually have to build any of that precursor oh, stuff. Like, if nice. you have... If you have all of the like the lowest level, all, all you have in your inventory is wars, for instance. Yeah. If you say, build me a computer, it will just do all that stuff. For oh, you. that's nice. Yeah. That's cool. Well, I'm ready to play. That's downloaded, so I'm ready to play next time. Nice. We will have to figure out the server stuff. But that's fine. I probably won't be able to play until Monday. But... Monday night, I'm in. All right, dudes. All right, good games. I'm gonna try right. Yeah. Yep. GGS. Hey, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Is it? Are you still on? Oops.